Hey guys, Josh here. The iPhone 13 Pro now features ProMotion, and the highlight feature of ProMotion is the 120 hertz adaptive display, which means that the overall experience of using the phone is super smooth. Personally, I'm no stranger to high refresh displays, but I was wondering to myself whether regular people or people who haven't seen a display higher than 60 hertz could actually tell a difference. I feel like it's one of those things that you kind of just have to experience in person. So today I brought a few of my friends into the studio to get their reactions to the iPhone 13 Pro display. Should be a pretty interesting video. I have no idea what the reactions are, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's get to it. I hope it's food. All right, open your eyes. Ooh! <gasps> Ooh! Is this the new iPhone? iPhone 13 Pro. It's the iPhone 13 Pro. Wow, Ooh. sustainable packaging. Dun dun! I knew it came out like this week or something. I know the rage is the blue, like the blue phone. I think they updated the camera. The aperture is a little bit wider. Other than that, I think it's the same thing. Oh, it is slightly bigger actually than the other phones uh, width wise because it has a bigger battery pack now. Oh. So also the camera is actually a little beefier now. Before it could only do 2.5X zoom, but now it can do three. Oh. Yeah. It's a little heavier than mine. Oh, are these your texts? Very smooth. Dude, it kind of looks the same. <laughs> I have the iPhone X. Okay, yeah, the one cool thing is they have the zoom outs now, like the 0.5X. I feel like my phone only has zoom in. Okay, I want to test out the camera because I like camera stuff. Whoa. Yeah, that's three times three zoom. Three times zoom. That's kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, I could see like wow. all, the, all the squigglies on your finger. <laughs> what is cinematic? Is cinematic new on camera? I think the cinematic feature is new. They have the new feature for when you're recording uh, videos. Basically, uh, portrait mode but on video. Nice. What kind of websites do you go to, Helen? Um, it's like my shopping website's like made well. <laughs> made well? Ooh, what deals do they Ooh, have? Ooh, they had 20% <gasps> every for oh, insiders. I, I already ordered. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> There's a big selling feature of this phone, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so I have to try to find it. Uh, I don't know. Is the scroll speed different? Actually, no, it's the same, right? I I think I know what you're asking. Is it the the notch up here? No. Okay. Not notch. I wonder. The did they change small. anything? They made it smaller, right? Okay, cool. Can I have my old phone for comparison? <laughs> I don't know. Um, does it have to do with just like? The, like how it looks. I would say there's no like notable difference. I definitely wouldn't, I wouldn't be like wowed by anything that I've seen. Honestly, it looks kind of similar. Time for you to play with. Okay, well, oh. oh. I feel like it moves a lot smoother. Like it looks like the visual, like when you scroll and stuff, um, the images and like everything is like a lot faster. Did you notice that right off the bat? Yeah. So the thing that you're looking for right now, or at least I'm trying to help you look for, you should be able to tell just by moving. Like on that page, just scroll up and down, up and down with your finger. Um, it's probably clearer on the new phones. Like when I scroll it, it's like the things that are zooming by are clearer mm -hmm. versus here. I can't read it. I guess I, yeah, it's, I can't really read it. But it's very, very like, I don't know if the average person would be able to tell. Okay, it's it's smoother. I noticed it when when you were like clearing and then like opening the app back up. Like, Wait, I feel like it, your phone is so weird, Caleb. Like the, <laughs> the words will kind of like linger. <laughs> It's just like, okay, when you scroll, the words, can you tell, like, yeah, they yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of like, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, because like on this one, when you scroll, it looks like the, mm. move, like the it words moves smoothly and the images it. will move with the scroll. In real time. Okay, there's definitely a difference. I think like, the best way I can put it is like, when I scroll through on my old phone, the words get like blurry as I scroll versus on here, I think the words stay more crisp even as I'm scrolling quickly. It blurs a little bit when I'm scrolling, 
um, versus it's smoother as in. Uh, is this 120 hertz? So one of the main selling points of this new iPhone is a higher refresh rate display. So all iPhones uh. before this one has had a 60 hertz display, but this one has an 120 hertz display, so it's twice as fast. This means that everything you see on the screen is like really smooth. If I'm doing slowly, I can definitely see the difference when I'm like looking for it. But I, I would definitely not notice it unless kind of I'm looking for it. It's like a really big difference for me. <laughs> yeah, I definitely yeah. notice. I don't know. Since whenever I scroll, I notice that like the words will kind of like do 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 you know like yeah, it actually is pretty different. But is it a game changer? Not, not sure. <laughs> it really depends on your need for it. For me personally, I don't really use my phone that much. But if I was someone that was on my phone more or like watched YouTube a lot, if I'm reading, it's gonna help a lot, especially like in the dark or if I'm not zooming things in. Now I notice like it's kind of like, it's not smooth on my current phone. It's so much better. <laughs> I don't know, it's easier on the eyes for me. <laughs> it is nice though. It feels like you have better eyesight. I do think this is better. I don't think I would pay the sticker price difference to have this. But I would pay for like better camera quality, stuff like that. I guess it just depends on like what you value and I don't really think I value this too much. I mean, I definitely like the 120 hertz better, but would I pay more just for that feature? Probably not. This is better, I suppose, but like not enough for me to be like really complain about it from my phone. <laughs> Factoring all the other upgrades, like if you were to upgrade your phone today from the X, yeah. would you go for the 13 or the 13 Pro? Um, the 13 Pro probably, yeah. Nicer one. Yeah, might as yeah. well. <laughs> the phone is like an extension of your body at this point, so <laughs> if why not get the best one for just a little bit more? Yeah. yeah. All right, that was pretty interesting. Out of everybody, it kind of seemed like only one person noticed a higher refresh rate immediately. For everybody else, I sort of had to give them hints, and only when they were looking at their phone and the new phone side by side could they actually tell a difference. Also a similarity was that most people didn't find this feature worth upgrading or paying extra for. What did you guys think of the results? Was it what you expected? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 100K by the end of the year, so any help is greatly appreciated. I have a bunch more videos planned and I hope to see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. Follow me on TikTok. <laughs> I have great, great content. Shout out to Joshua Chain's channel. Uh, what is it called? Yeah. Uh, what are we... <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe to Joshua Chain's channel. He's a great dude and he makes great videos. <laughs>